Welcome back everybody, it's John Culp from Culp Racing Transmissions and welcome to the CRT channel. I am with Jeff, that's got the T-Bird. Jeff's channel is uh, Two Hex Garage, even though he's one guy. Yeah. <laughs> the other hack is whoever I'm working on, so right. today you're a hack. The, the, yeah, so the two hacks are right here. So um, all of Jeff's parts come in today. So this, this is going to be us putting together the C6. We got some really good upgrades, a, a low gear set planetary system that we're putting in there. Uh, we're going to upgrade the clutches. We're going to change the reverse manual valve body to a trans brake. Yes. So Jeff's doing uh, probably about this big of a wheelie now yeah. foot braking it. So once Jeff gets a trans brake, the thing ought to launch pretty good. It's, yes, and I did get the new suspension underneath there, and I'm actually going to get a set of slicks and lower the rear end ratio from 430 to 488. So I should be carrying that 4,200 wow. pound car. Yeah, not and, only that, the 488s along with the 277 first gear ratio, or what is it, 270, 271. 271. From a 245. For, right, right, yeah. from a 245. That is like having a 5.0 something uh, gear ratio when leaving in first gear. But, you know, it is a heavy car, and it's going to need a little oomph to get it going. Um, and he might be the new wheel standing king over there at No Name. Right? I hope so. I, I'm, <laughs> as long as I don't break anything, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be a blast. This well, guy, Jeff, they don't call it a trans break. That's true. Or not. That's true. As long as I break something easy, you know, I'll be all right. But, yes, this is the man, the transmission. Oh, would you hey, stop I'm it already? Right good, so he's from Chicago. I grew up listening to a lot of stuff in Chicago. So if you know, you know. Right, John? If you know, you know. Yes. So, um, this is going to be a good one. Jeff's here. Um, we're going to leave it loosey-goosey. We're going to have some fun. We're going to build some transmissions. I'm going to turn Jeff on to some good Chicago food while he's here, along with his friend Big John. And so stick around. This is going to be a great one. All right, well, all I videotaped was my intro that you just watched. Uh, I didn't videotape anything else. So the footage that you're going to see after this, all of it, um, was filmed and edited by Jeff at Two Hacks. I give him full credit. Um, I just wanted to share something with my subscribers or people that come to my channel about uh, how we did the C6 build and like I said I didn't even pull my camera out except for the intro so everything you're about to watch from here on out is all Jeff's content on my channel hope you enjoy it Jeff from Two Hacks Garage well I'm not at Kyle's Hack Shack I'm not in Jimmy's shop I'm not in John's garage and I'm not in my garage where am I at well it's pretty obvious I'm at Cope Racing Transmission, and this is part two of the C6 build that we're doing for my 1968 Ford Thunderbird. Pretty neat because John's 1968 Dodge Coronet is sitting right above it. Um, reason it's been a little bit uh, long between the videos on this, um, John made a really awesome video of tearing down this transmission and going through my parts. He's an expert, I am not, and determined there were some additional parts I needed and some parts that I got that were wrong. That's my bad, but I went ahead and got those ordered. In fact, one of the parts I had to order, which we'll show later on, um, still waiting on, and it's due in here this morning at Cope Racing Transmission. Um, yeah, this place is really awesome. I dig John's 68 Coronet. That is such a cool car. I, in my opinion, one of the best rear ends ever on a Mopar. Just how beautiful that is. Yeah, that's gorgeous. And right below, it's my Thunderbird. Um, I got a whole bunch more stuff going on with this here soon. But before we do that, we got to get the transmission built. Um, got to get a rear end in it. Got to get a whole bunch of cool stuff done with that. John, are you ready to learn how to build a transmission? Oh, yeah. Yeah. This is going to be fun. He's ready to learn how to build a transmission. I'm ready to get yelled at by the master. So with that, guys, we better get to work. But before that, I do want to show you something pretty cool. That is such a beautiful truck. This is John's shop truck. It is exactly like the one his dad had. 
Um, it's big block powered. It does have fuel injection. It is absolutely awesome. One thing I like about it is the hand painted lettering and graphics on the side. Um, those are the Calumet City water towers on there. Probably my favorite part on it. Just absolutely love this. The attention to detail John put on it. Very, very, very cool. But yeah, so I'm at Cope Racing Transmission. Very cool place. We are going to build an absolutely awesome Ford C6 for my rowdy 1968 Ford Thunderbird. See you soon. Well, as soon as uh, John and I got here, guess what? UPS delivered my package. Uh, what this is, this is the Broder C6 wide ratio gear kit with their needle bearing kit. Um, so what we're actually doing is a custom C6 build. Now, I did get the, C the uh, Broder trans brake um, and a bunch of goodies John showed in another video on his channel. Um, but what this is doing is this is a much stronger uh, planetary gear setup, including the drum, planetary gears, everything you see here. Like I said, I'm not a transmission expert, but I know enough to be dangerous. Anyway, what this is going to be, it's going to be a stronger unit, but the, what it's going to allow is a much better hole shot um, off that trans brake. It lowers the first and second gear ratio and keeps the third one to one. So it's going from a first gear ratio, what used to be 245 to one, now it's 271 to one. And the second gear was 145 and now it's 154. So mind you, I do have the 430 gears in there now with the original C6 stuff. And I had a pretty good launch with no brake off the, off the actual just foot brake. But I'll be going with this kit, which much lower first and second gear with the trans brake, with the two-step. And instead of the 430s, I'll have 48s with a spool. So my 60 foot time should be a lot better. And not only that guys, it's a heavy car. So with all this stuff combined, if I hook traction and get the chassis set up right, it should be a monster out of the hole. With that, I'll tell you what guys, waiting for John to get here and we'll start getting this build going. Later. I know I showed this in the last video, but I just had to show you guys this again. This is a transmission dyno. Um, it is absolutely cool and it's powered by got an old little small Chevy engine. And what's neat about it is John has this transmission in here and he can hook up any of his valve bodies on there and give them a test. I honestly don't know how to use one of these things. I think it's one of the coolest things ever. I dig it. I love it. I would love to learn how to use it. I would also love to get an engine dyno one day. We can all hope and dream big, maybe one day. Just as a side note, John's got some of the coolest office graphics. King Speed Shop, if you're from this area of the world, you know, Transmatic Transmissions, that was his dad. Surge Friction, not sure. That's cool. Obviously, Texaco. And the awesome Caspermatic logo. See you soon. All right, well, check that out. I got to give a shout out to Lucas and the guys here. Cleaned this thing well, painted all nice. Painted the pump, my favorite color red. I got all kinds of parts. It's a puzzle. I have no idea what's going on. John? The I, mister. I, I don't know what's going on either, Jeff. So between the two of us dumbasses, we should figure out how to put this thing together. Two brains are better than one. With that, we're going to get started. Just being smart. All right. So we're in the master's office, Mr. John, the principal cope, and a whole bunch of C6 parts laying there, a whole bunch of them behind him. Uh, like he said, uh, the nice red pump there, it's going to match my soon to be red car, hopefully. And what we're going to do is we're coming with a game plan on how to build this, get it all put together. we got a million parts. I'm not a Ford guy. John's not a Ford guy. But we're both playing the Ford world. Uh, two brains is better than one. Back here, we got fancy John setting up his awesome cinematography. And I thought that was a middle finger for a second. Probably should have been after it. And then this day, he'll be flipping us both off. But what we're going to do is we're going to time lapse this footage. John's going to make a video, too. It's going to be a whole hell of a lot more explanative than mine because I would absolutely butcher that. But with that, John's going to get set up and we're going to get to work. See you soon. All right. So John has put the uh, front pump together um, and nice, pretty, nice and red. Uh, John, what's the difference between these and the factory ones? The... These are sealing rings, and they seal the high gear drum and the forward drum. And in high pressure applications, the steel clad seals that come on there um, can wear out very quick because they're they're pushed. Where the Teflon sealing rings 
um, they'll basically last forever. They don't wear out like the steel ones do. So anything in high pressure, um, you always, no matter what transmission manufacturer you're using, you always want to go to Teflon rings. Now, like some transmissions, like Turbo 400, comes with Teflon rings. So that's a that's a good plus on that. But they didn't have them for this, and I wanted to get them, and they're, they're a great upgrade. Yep, and I got that upgrade with a whole seal kit from JW Performance. Um, like I said, this is not being stocked with this transmission. We're doing a one-off Squirrelmatic build. So what we're doing right now is John is assembling the front forward drum, and we have the race clutches and the factory clutches. And what he's doing now is he's checking the tolerance on that to see if we have the correct clearance. And there's, John, was it four clutches for race and five for factory? I'm trying to go five for five now. Okay, we're just Fire trying. Race. We're just trying all the different clearances on here and see what's going to fit right and see what's going to work right. Seeing a few. So the third gear drum, John is assembled with the. Uh, is it the race clutches in there? It's got the Raybestos blues and stock. And he's going to check the clearance on there. Why that's tight? What should it be? Oops, sorry. So we're going to get back to building. Checking in a few. Down there. And he's going to custom. Uh, we, we're going to go down to KM Transmissions in St. John. It just so happens to be right next door to uh, Portillo's. Oh, and I owe John Portillo's. <laughs> no. Look at him laughing at me. <laughs> laughing again at me. <laughs> and Mason's going to cut this to where we want it so we can get our 70,000th clearance on this drum. We're at 100 or we're at 20. So what's going on is I, I, I might butcher this, but we need between seven, 50 and 70 thousands clearance on this right. drum. If we use different plates and all that, we're coming up with either 25, which is too tight and which will cause an overlap, and or it's at 100,000, which cause a flare-up. Is that right, John? Did I butcher that? You did not. And I like chili and cheese on my fries. Sounds like John is getting chili and cheese on his fries. <laughs> See you in a few. All right. Well, we are at K and M Transmissions. This is one of John's buddies. Uh, it sounds like he's got a really bunch of cool stuff in there. Uh, he's a lifesaver because we need to have the correct clearance on this. And this guy has happened to have what we need. He's going to save our ass. See you in a few. This is Mason that just saved my ass. Uh, drive all over to Cope Transmission and find out that needed a different pressure plate in there. The clearance was it totally incorrect. He saved our ass, so I got to give him a handshake. He and put a, a Chevy a pressure plate in it. A yeah, Chevy Mason. pressure plate in a Ford for a guy who's actually a Mopar guy. Mason, I appreciate it. No problem, guys. All right, well, before we actually go back to the shop, I owe this man lunch, and it was Portillo's, but this seems like to be a much better hot dog place. Where are we at, John? My wallet, John. Did you bring yours? No, I didn't Well, it looks like Jeff's going to buy it. It's like I'm going to buy I owe this we're guy at, anyway. We're at Corky's Doghouse in Sierra Lake, Indiana. So before we go back and finish the C6 build after Mason saved my ass with the part we need, I'm going to feed this guy, and I'm going to feed this guy. I owe this guy, and I guess I owe this guy, too. Looks like it's going to be an expensive lunch. See you soon. Look at that. Enjoy. Thank you. Mmm. Damn. I know. Is that all yours? All right. Well, we're back from lunch, and I finally got John Cope, the principal, paid up. Um, so when we were putting together this drum, the clearance was either too tight or too loose. It called for 50 to 70 thousandths, and on the tight side, it was 25. On the loose side, it was about 100. We went to his friend Mason's at k and Transmissions, and he hooked us up with the correct parts. So what we're going to do, and he checked it, but we're going to check it with John's method. And uh, John, go ahead and spray that air in there. So look at that. We are at about 65 thousandths. We're going to call that good, and we're going to get assembling. Like I said earlier, there's going to be a whole time-lapse video of this build going together, and what we're doing is we're just doing periodic check-ins, 
of our progress because him and I are focusing. I'm asking a whole lot of questions because I don't know my asshole from a hole in the ground when it that comes to transmissions. <laughs> John said that makes two of us. John, are you having fun? Oh, hell yeah. He's having fun. Mr. Cope, are you having fun? I'm too full from the hot dogs. Those were good, but they were worth it. This is going to be an official two hex garage technical tip because I have Jeff Rose mic on. Okay, so we're going to talk a little planetary here. This is a C6, but this will apply to any transmission. We have here the output shaft. As you know, the output shaft is a slip yoke. It goes to the drive shaft, which goes straight to the differential. Um, the front planetary is splined right to that output shaft, okay? So under trans brake application, this aluminum planetary on a steel output shaft is going to take the brunt of the hit. These planetaries um, splines on the inside, they will strip out. Now, I don't know about the Fords, but in, in Mopar 727s and 904s, they definitely strip out. So when I told Jeff, I'm like, hey, listen, if we're going to go to a low ratio, he already bought an aluminum set. I'm like, if we can, can we get the steel? So Jeff is upgrading from an aluminum three pinion to a steel six pinion front planetary. Now, don't forget, this is splined right to the shaft, which goes right to the output shaft or to the uh, drive shaft. So this is direct. There's no cushion from a converter or from bands or clutches or anything. This is hardcore straight to it. So this upgrade that Jeff's going on for his T-Bird is going to be awesome. It's And on top of all that, the planetaries are rollerized. That means instead of using washers, all the planetaries have needle bearings in between them. It's going to be a great upgrade. The rollerized planetary and the low gear set could be worth from one to one and a half tenths of a second in Jeff's car. So, all right. So we got all the. My own C6 tool. <laughs> he just made his own C6 tool. Um, so we got all the drums made. We got all the clutch packs in there. Got all that done. Uh, John went and showed you guys about the new planetary gear set. That's all taken care of in GMG. there. Uh, so what he is doing now is he is putting the, there's like springs that go in there and he's, snap rings for the low reverse clutch, snap rings for the low reverse clutch. He's getting that installed. So everything else can start sliding into place. Just wanted to provide a quick progress check, having fun at principal John Cope's racing transmission school. Hey John, is it in park? <laughs> the fun of. The fun of the automotive business. <laughs> what we had at CRT. <laughs> hey, if I can't get a chuckle out of you. <laughs> I'm used to being laughed at. You know at. what I'm saying? What's the old joke? I'm used to the abuse. All right, here we go. It's going in park. It's going in park. There we go. John's got about the whole entire thing built, and he's going to show us something pretty cool. What you got going on there, John? What uh, we're going to do is now that the transmission is basically assembled, except for the tail housing and the valve body, we're going to air check the components, which would be the low reverse clutch, the front clutch or direct clutch, the rear clutch or what they call the forward clutch, and the front band. This is going to let us know that everything assembled, uh, no seals got ripped and everything, no Teflon rings got misplaced or flat fell off. It's a really good way, and um, the C6 is nice to give you the ports just like a torque flight. So this here will be our low reverse clutch. Now it does have a small hole drilled in it for the trans brake, and that's what you're hearing. But you can hear the clutches hit when you air check it. Then we're gonna do the forward, the direct. The direct also has a hole drilled into it, even though it wasn't in the instructions of the trans brake. I want my gut feeling to make sure that was done. Now, next, we'll do the band. So, watch the band adjustment or the band uh, air apply. Now, they don't give you a very good passage right here in the case. So, what I'm doing is I'm taking my thumb and I'm covering that up. And you're watching that. So, everything air checks good. We're ready to put the valve body on, the oil pan, 
the tail housing, and we're done. Sweet surgery at Dr. Cope's. Seeing a few. Okay, we're right now. John's taking a quick break. Uh, as you can see, all the internals are built, pumps installed. Um, I think he's got the sick. Yep, he's got the band in there. We did the air check and all that fun jazz. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to actually put the tail housing on next. Uh, we just drove in a new bushing. And i got to put a new seal on the rear of that. And after that, guys, I think it's putting a valve body on, putting a pan on, and going from there. We're not going to get it installed in the car today. That's going to be another video. But this has been an actual, absolutely fun day. What do you think, John? It's been a blast. I've yeah. had a lot of fun. It's been awesome. It has been awesome. Can't wait to give this thing a whirl. Uh, I'm really excited about the different low gear ratio that it's going to have in it. And we want to see what it's going to do off the brake. See you soon. Well, that's a beautiful transmission. It's all done. Thanks to the principal, John Cope. Got everything installed, got everything done. Um, what John is going to do is he is going to actually test the trans brake solenoid out. Think it'll work? I hope so. Look at that. On, off, on, off. Pretty awesome. It'll Pretty work for part two. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's the C6 Squirrel Matic transmission. Pretty happy Squirrel about it. Squirrel Matic. C6 constantly stays in park. That's an inside joke. We'll talk about some other time. It's been a good day. Um, we got and it's going in my car anyways. Yes. I'm yes. Buy this. yes. John buy wants to car. buy my Thunderbird really, really bad. We've it's been talking. Been growing on me. It's been growing on me. He's turning into a Ford guy, John. We'll talk about that at dinner. Does that sound good? I'll make you an offer you can't refuse. He's going to make me an offer I can't refuse. I'm sure it's going to involve. You know, I saw a really cool Corvette in Kyle's shop. I don't know. It was for sale. Who knows? Maybe. Anyway, Lucas, thanks for the help. Hey, no problem. That transmission turned out great. John, I appreciate it. John, I appreciate it. No problem.
is part two of building the C6 for my rowdy 1968 Ford Thunderbird with 521 cubic inches. And there we got Mr. Cope's awesome 68 Coronet RT. I really like it. Him and I went to lunch. I hope he can't hear me. But he really digs my bird. And I know I really like that Coronet right there. Uh, we got to do some talking. Not sure yet. You know, I need to kind of return to my Mopar route roots. And that Coronet's pretty cool, even though my Thunderbird's really cool. But with you guys, there's going to be a third video of when we install this thing, test everything out, and go from there. Still a lot more work to do on this, but I appreciate John's help, Luke's help, and uh, there John's help. Had a really good day up here at Cope Racing Transmissions. I don't know, guys. Thunderbird or Coronet RT? See you in the next one.